Hello everyone. My name is Reverend Sung Jae Yan, Minister at Bernier Park Uniting Church. Welcome you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And there is someone asked me to do this, big waving hands. So big waving hands to each other wherever you are, whoever you are with now. And let me tell you this story. Sung Jae said quietly, he was thinking. The rest of his family were talking and laughing as they sat on the sofa after dinner. But Sung Jae was remembering when he took more than his share of the food. He remembered how Grace and his three children had said, We forgive you. Jesus, he said, how often should we forgive someone? I mean, if someone keeps doing something bad, should we just say, I forgive you over and over? Sure, said Jesus, over and over and over and over. But what if someone keeps doing something they shouldn't do? Sung Jae asked. You have a baby puppy, don't you? Yes, we've just got him, said Sung Jae. He's almost two months old. His name is Arong. We call him Arongi. Now, suppose Arongi pees on your clothes. Would you forgive him? Of course, laughed Sung Jae. What else would you do? I'd give him a good clean. And if he pees on your clothes again, would you forgive him? Of course. What if Arong did it over and over and over and over? How often would you forgive him? How often would you give him a good clean? I'll do it over and over and over and over and over and over laughed Sung Jae. But Jesus, Arong is not even two months. He doesn't know he shouldn't pee on my clothes. Jesus smiled. You know something, Sung Jae? Most of the time, when people are doing a bad thing, they don't really know it's a bad thing. Often, it's because they don't know how to do good things. We are trying to teach Arongi how to keep his space clean and dry. He's starting to learn. You know something, Sung Jae? God is a little bit like a dog owner. God keeps forgiving us over and over and over and over, just like you do with little Arong. And at the same time, God is helping us learn how to be more kind, more loving, and fair. This story is one of the ways of introducing our first puppy ever in Australia. His name is Arong, or Arong, Arongi. He's the most gorgeous puppy ever in my life. He has been with us only five nights, maybe six nights, including last night, at his new Sydney home. Every second he is growing big and getting smart. You know, he learns both Korean and English as we train him. He now recognizes five of us, me, Grace, and three children, welcoming when we come home and crying out when we disappeared from his sight. We feed him two good square meals per day that he enjoys it very much. But the hardest thing is for him to wee, pee, and poo at right spot. As a country boy from Gandagai, Arong 
gets confused where he does right thing on tile floor because he had done on hay in his original home, actually breeder's home. So far he has peed on various spots, almost everywhere in our family room, such as cushions, carpet under the dining table, and just tile floor and Grace's Ugg boots as well. I have tried to teach him, we have tried to teach him to pee on the pee training mats and precaution him against peeing not on the right spots. He turns just two months today, Friday 11th September, which means he is still immature that he cannot succeed all the time. So I have kept forgiving him over and over. I forgive him, learning how many times I would forgive him if he pees on wrong spots. To forgive and forgiveness come from everyday life as a dog owner, a friend, family member or a Christian. I believe that forgiveness is not naive but relational. Forgiveness may require restoration and reconciliation among peoples rather than only say sorry. But I personally value of saying sorry if it is appropriate. I would define forgiveness like this. To forgive in mortal life is the most immortal form of love. The antonym of forgive is not unforgive but regret because the person that you would forgive is not he with us anymore while we have breath in our body in our lung and our body we can forgive and be forgiven by each other my arong is forgiven because of his life though he pees on wrong spots i can forgive him because I live my life this moment with him as a dog owner. If you fear forgiveness, I would encourage you to allow yourself to forgive someone in your mind right now. Jesus Christ our Lord in the parable does not teach us how to, how to forgive. But he emphasizes only 77 times, which means we should forgive until your forgiveness is acknowledged by the, the person or those forgiven. In return, you may have peace and calmness in your life. In reality, we have experienced so little forgiveness, haven't we? Does it mean that we may be afraid to find a way to forgiveness and restoration? Are we afraid to be, to be forgiven? Bill Lauder says that forgiveness and being forgiven is about letting go of control, accepting that that can never really be squared. Grace given and received is the basis for reconciliation. So please do remember that we are the people of God who are created by the image of God. And also we are the followers of Christ, Jesus, by the acceptance that he achieved, he fulfilled on a cross. His death and resurrection, the ways of forgiving us, have led us so far. Please remember we are all forgiven and then given the life everlasting. We must forgive others over and over and over by the generosity of God and the authority of Jesus Christ who offers us grace. Through forgiveness, we may experience God's love and Christ's grace from everyday life. If someone near you is in your debt of doing wrong, please forgive. While he or she lives life with you, near you, there is still a chance to forgive 
all be forgiven. Forgiveness is again in our mortal life the most immortal form of love that Jesus Christ showed in his life's journey. No more reasons. It is enough that Jesus was crucified, died, but rose again in order to teach us how to forgive. If you did wrong to someone and you realize how serious it would be, ask him or ask her for forgiveness. Then do not regret. Please, your life is precious and important so you can forgive and be forgiven. 77 times or even more while we live with each other. Amen.